Hi there, Booktube! My name is Cristina and today I'm here with a bit of a different video and I probably will publish it while I will be in the midst of the thing that we will be discussing in this video and it's moving houses and bringing your books with you. As I already foretold in one of my previous videos, I'm moving houses. I'm going to live with my boyfriend and we will have a smaller place and I already bought myself a small kind of bookshelf. It's not very very small but still it's smaller than here because here I have one huge one, two small ones plus the books that I have like in my living room and something in the garage. So we will have less space, I won't be able to bring with me all of my books and I still will leave more than half of my books here because my parents will still live here but I will bring with me just a part of them. And so now I'm finding myself in that horrible position of deciding what books to bring with you. And if you're a book lover, you know that books are like kind of children for bookworms. And so I need to decide who to leave behind and who to bring with me. And while I was reflecting about it and just going through different options, I decided for something. First of all, I will bring with me two of my favorites. So I will bring with me Harry Potter because I mean, Harry Potter has traveled with me pretty much everywhere and it's very important to me to bring it with me. I started reading it uh, while I was living in uh, Ukraine, I believe, and then I moved to Italy and all the times when I moved houses I brought it with me, so it's part of my history and of my family history, so I will bring Harry Potter with me, both the printed version and the new illustrated version that I still need to read. I read only the first one, but I own the second and the third one as an illustrated version and I still need to read it. So that's the one and I will bring the first trilogy of Kushil, so Kushil Start trilogy. Not the second one because I loved it less, but the first one is my absolute favorite and I plan to read it sooner or later and I just want to have it in my new home. So those are the two oldies, let's say, that I will bring with me. And as far as all the other books are concerned, I will bring with me only the books that I have not read yet. So for example, if I've read, I don't know, the first in a series, I will bring with me just the second one. Not the second and the third, just the second one. So just the book that I concretely need to read, because when I will finish it, if I will be feeling like picking the next one, I can come here and get it. <laughs> but otherwise, it will just take place in my bookshelf and I want to get as many unread books there as I can, so that I will go through all of them and only later I will like exchange them with something that I left here. So only unread books. And if I've read the first one, I will bring only the second one. The only exception will be four or five box sets that I own, like for example the Grisha Trilogy box set, these ones. I will bring them with me as they are, even if I've read like the first one and not the second one, just because they're boxes, they're full sets, they're beautiful as they are, and I want to bring them like that. So these are the only exceptions. I will bring with me some of the books that I've read in the past, very, very in the past, and that I'm planning to reread. For example, I have here the first in the series, it's Before Dibus Life, Mat Palunici by Dmitri Yimets, and this is the first book in a long, long series. I've read probably the first four books when I was a teenager and since then I'm planning to restart it. So since I'm completely planning to restart it from scratch, I will bring with me the first book. So that's a different example. And then going from there, I will go with trying and bring like an equal amount, as much as possible, of the four different languages in which I read. So Italian, Russian, English and French. I own less French books, so it won't be very difficult. I will probably bring all of the books that I own in French with me. And then with the others, I will try and balance to have like 
the right amount and not too many of one or the other because I, as I was telling you, I'm planning to try and read all of those books that I will bring with me and only later to bring others and to exchange them. This way I hope to prioritize books that I left behind for a long, long time and just to try and push myself and read some books that I'm just too lazy to read, like for example some books that I own in Russian, like War and Peace. Just one example for all. I'm too lazy to just start it, so I will bring it with me and I will force myself at a certain point to read it, because I have to. It's like a moral imperative, I have to read that book sooner or later in my life, so better sooner than later. And the other thing that I will keep in mind is that I will only bring with me a limited amount of books and I still need to figure out how many books I may pack into the bookshelf that I bought for myself. So I will see. I don't know. Right now I will go with something like maybe 200 books could be a number and considering that I have like six hundred probably and read books or more this is a great number to bring with me and yeah I will try with that and I will see how it works and so now I am starting to select the books so I'm suffering inside but I hope that it will just push me into the right direction and force me to read the books that I own because I'm also planning to go on with the buying ban and I think that it's doing great things for me, this way I'm forced to read books that I already have here. Then in the future you will see a different location, I will have to figure out how to film, at what hour, in what position, and so on and so on, but I hope that you will still love those videos. And for now this is it, and let me know down below if you've moved houses, how you decided to, what to bring with you, like, or even not moving houses, like for an experience like college, for example, far away from home, how you decided who to bring with you and who to leave behind. It's such a struggle. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you very very soon in my next one. Bye! Ciao!